And now it is time for Celebrity Prognosticator. Let's win some money. It's Don DeWard. Don DeWard, assistant coach at Central College for 35 years. Over 300 plus wins there, Don. So you know a little something about winning. Oh, uh, yeah, we did win once in a while. You know about winning football games. Do you know about picking winning teams? I don't know about that. It's well, kind of tough at the high school level, but I'll give it a shot. We're going to pick eight games this week. A big, big weekend here at, at the Unidome. Eight games is a lot. Corey, you took Glenwood, as yep. did I. And the Guru has Glenwood. Mm. Jamie has Webster City. And Coach DeWard, you also took Webster City in this first game. Mount Vernon has the number one offense in all of 2A, but their strength of schedule, not so good. I have the Union Knights to beat Mount Vernon. Uh, what's say you, Corey Hauser? Well, what did Jamie pick? Uh, Jamie took Mount Vernon. Well, I'm, I think I'm going to catch a game on Jamie here. I'm picking Union LaPorte City for the exact same reasons you mentioned. Copycat, copycat, copycat. The guru of Garage Doors also took Mount Vernon. So it's 2-2, two two, Coach. Who do you like in this game? I'm going to go with the Union. I'm going to go with Boyden Hole, Rock Valley. Jamie's going to go the opposite. He's going with Daiku Hartford. That is why you fail. And the Guru's with me. The Guru and I, when we go together, we're strong. He's got the Nighthawks as well. You said Jamie picked Dyke New Hartford? Yes, he did. All right, well, I'm also going with Dyke New Hartford. Oh, no. I think Dyke's offense is too powerful for Boyden Hole. Well, a lot of great football up there in northwest Iowa, so I'm going to go with Boyden Hole, uh, Rock Valley. Very good pick. Very good pick out of you, Coach. Let's move to Class 1A, one of the best classes all year long. You can't go against Regina. I mean, come on. They've won six in a row. I'd have to be crazy. I'd have to be cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs to go against Regina. Jamie also is taking the Regals, as is the Guru. Corey, are you the voice of dissent, or are you also on the Regina Regals? <laughs> Am I cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? You were last uh, week. I, yeah. I'm also picking Iowa City. Coach, you going against the Regals, or are you uh, on the six-time state champ as well? Well, I think I'll pick Regina. Okay, the other 1A game, but I'm going to go with Western Christian. And Jamie and chose. Jamie chose Van Meter. <laughs> the Guru's with me again. You win. Remember, when the Guru and I are on the same side, we're, we're pretty much unstoppable. Huh. It's kind of like the single ween. Pretty much unstoppable. So the guru and I have Western Christian. Jamie has Van Meter. Corey, it's your pick. Uh, so I'm I'm going to go with Western Christian. Woo-hoo! This is a tough pick. I'm going to go with Van Meter. Uh, one of the coaches on their staff played for me at Central. He's- All right, 4A, the big schools. Tomorrow night, I'm going to go with Cedar Rapids, Washington. They've put out a lot of really good football players lately, some Division One talent. Go! Jamie is taking the Trojans from Iowa City West. And the guru is with me. Again, me and the guru are either going to go down together or go up together. We both have Washington. Go! What say you, Corey Hauser? Got to make up some games somewhere. I know we got one more week to go. Not this one. Cedar Rapids, Washington. You suck. All right, coach. Yeah, Cedar Rapids, Washington. Go! Dowling and Centennial will play tomorrow night as Ankeny Centennial upset number one Valley last week. Dowling scores more tomorrow night, and the Maroons win. Jamie agrees with me. The guru's going opposite of me. He's going with Ankeny Centennial. He believes in the Jaguars. Mm. Jamie said the Centennial? Jamie said Dowling. Oh, Jamie said Dowling. Jamie and I are, are both with the uh, the Dowling Catholic Maroons. <sighs> I'm going Centennial. Any reason for that? I. <laughs> hey, you're pulling a page out of my playbook. Uh, I say, yeah. <laughs> Centennial, I, I just think, they're, I think their defense, just looking at some of their matchups and the kind of yardage and the kind of um, the turnovers uh, that they've been able to create. Of course, upsetting Valley, they've got that momentum going for them. I've got Centennial winning. Okay, what do you, what do you say, Coach DeWard? Uh, I think another tough game. Uh, Dowling uh, always comes to this central team camp in July, and, and they have got some unbelievable athletes, so I'm going to have to go with Dowling. The game that all of our listeners care about the most. The number one ranked Cedar Rapids Xavier against the two-time defending champion Pella Little Dutch. The computers like the Dutch by a touchdown. I like the Dutch. Not by a touchdown, by a little less. Six points? Less than seven is what I'm going to say. Okay. I like the Dutch. Less than seven. You're the best of the guru, of course. He's the guru of Garage Doors, which is located in Pella. He's not going against the Little Dutch. He's with me. We've got the Dutch. We've it's, got the Dutch. It's, we've got the Dutch. Our Dutch tonight. You're the best of Jamie, on the other hand, disappointed in our man Jamie. He's going to be the first person all year long to pick against Pella. And there's going to be some great shame when he loses this game. But Jamie has taken the Xavier Saints. Mm-hmm. All bad. Bad. You feel shame, you know. I want to know what, what Don 
Oh, no, Don goes last because the fan of the week's in last place. Those are the rules of the show. All right. You've only been on the show now for uh, 12 weeks. You think you know the rules of the show by now, but clearly you don't. You must pick. Don gets to go last. Uh, you know, it's not about position. It's, well, I know this that. isn't poker. It's not about position. It's about picking who's going to win the game every time out, getting them all right. That's what I did last week. You can take note from that. You used to do that right in the regular <laughs> season when they were really easy to pick. Yep. But when the rubber meets the road in the playoffs, when it's tough to do it, when it's tough to make that tough call, what are you going to do? I'm picking Xavier. You are obsolete! Obsolete! He's picking Xavier. Yep. We are taking that little Dutch fan sign above your office door and moving it. Okay. Well, I don't know how you could pick against a team that's won 39 games in a row. So I'm going to pick the little Dutch, and obviously uh, they do have the best defensive coordinator in the state of Iowa. Happens to be my brother, but, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, you can't you can't uh, downplay that fact. Yeah. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Very good pick, Coach. Of course, we all hope and want the Little Dutch to win tonight. That's all, folks.